I'm Micah. Welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. We're here today at Ferry Plaza Farmer's Market here in San Francisco, California. Today, we're going to talk to Toby Garoni, owner of Far West Fungi. We're going to talk to her about mushrooms and how to grow them in our bedroom closet. Opened in 1898, the Ferry Building was in the welcoming point for anyone coming by train from back east. Lucky for us, it survived the earthquakes of 1906 and 1989. Today, it is known throughout the city for its busy farmer's market filled with fruits, vegetables, nuts, and mushrooms. Mushrooms have been around since the earliest times. The ancient Egyptians believed mushrooms could help you live forever. That's not true, but in places like China, mushrooms are used in some types of medicine. Will you show us the mushroom kit? Sure, this is our um, kids kit that we produce, and we'll be growing tree oyster mushrooms on a newspaper. If you look in the box, what we have, first off, is your directions that tell you how to do this. Most important is what we call spawn, and spawn is the mushroom culture, or mycelium, that's going to grow on a grain, and this grain is a millet grain, like you would see in bird seed. So the first thing you want to do is wet the newspaper. You're going, the whole thing needs to be completely wet so that when you put the seed in, uh, you will have plenty of moisture in the newspaper for the seed to grow. It takes about uh, 21 days for the mushroom, it's culture to grow through the newspaper and it's going to be using the newspaper as its food source. So here is the spawn that we're shaking onto the newspaper. If you want to help me, we can spread it all out. Spread it all over the newspaper roll. And then we just very simply roll it up so that all of the spawn is going to be on the inside of this newspaper roll. Inside your box you also have two rubber bands. And the rubber bands are going to hold your roll together while the spawn is going to be growing through this. Okay, there is your log. The same bag that your spawn came in, you're going to put your log in. And the twist tie that was closing it is now going to close the bag. You want to keep it in the bag to keep the moisture inside there so that the spawn has plenty of moisture to grow. And then you're going to cut a little bit of air holes in your bag so that the mushrooms will also get the oxygen that it needs. Because mushrooms take in oxygen and give off carbon dioxide like people do. And there you go. What you will see in a short time is all of this white is the mushroom mycelium or the root system of the mushrooms is growing through that newspaper and then ultimately when you read your instructions you're going to put it in the light and then you're going to get mushrooms growing. That's it. That's it for today. See you next time.